What's up, everyone? Thank you all for joining us tonight to commemorate the Eagles Landing High School's class of 2021. First, I would like to thank God for making this possible, and I would like to take a moment of silence to honor Zakor Ukwosa, who would have been graduating with us tonight. His memory will never be forgotten. I would like to recognize the families who have supported our journeys for more than a decade up to this momentous occasion. On behalf of this graduating class, we would not be able to achieve this feat without your prolonged investment in us. I would also like to thank faculty and staff who have worked endlessly to provide us with a memorable high school experience. I would personally like to thank the boys for being the best friend group I could have asked for. Mrs. Rice and Mrs. Harris in the front office for brightening my day as soon as I walked into the school. Mrs. Vessel for encouraging me to read books and actually enjoy them. Coach Bull for always coming in clutch. Mr. Provo, Dr. Shirley, and Mrs. Harrison for providing me with a math background I probably wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. And Aisha and Kayla for, strive, for pushing me to strive beyond limits. I definitely cannot forget my mom, dad, and grandparents for providing me everything I've ever needed despite the odds being stacked against them. I will forever be thankful for them and the sacrifices they made as first generation immigrants from Jamaica. To so my fellow graduates, although it is an honor to speak to you tonight, please don't remember me as the kid with salutatorian plastered all over his face. But as a peer who has shared many unforgettable memories with you throughout the past few years, from getting kicked out of classrooms with the mall 19 seconds after we walked in, to failing tests with numbers that appear on a clock, to meeting some of the most impactful people in my life, I truly take none of it for granted, even though coronavirus decided to steal half of our time together. But besides that, y'all were really wilding out before we left. Fireworks in the cafeteria, a fight streak, hello? Nah, but for real. We were faced with some pretty tough challenges recently. A pandemic, war outbreaks across the globe, and an appalling amount of racial injustice. We came to this moment because of our resilience and determination, even with everything going on in the world. But I would be lying if I said I don't worry, or people who are close to me don't worry about our basic rights being threatened as people of color. We've been faced with oppression, racial tensions, and irrevocable suffering, not to mention the lives we've lost. Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Dante Wright, Rayshard Brooks, Ahmaud Arbery, and George Floyd, a soul we said goodbye to a year ago today. And the list doesn't end there. And that is what alarms us. But it would be wrong for us to not continue to strive for the change that our ancestors sought out for so long. A sense of belonging and worth in a place filled with so many challenge, challenges imposed on us. Class of 2021, we have the potential to alter a society that needs our help. I look at you and I see brilliant individuals who are going to excel outside of the Eagles Landing community. Whether that is playing sports at one of the best universities in the country like Evan, amassing large amounts of social media followers like Chris, thriving in fine arts like Amon, joining the military like Quincy, or pursuing higher education like many of you. The talent and excellence in this class runs so deep there is no doubt in my mind we will accomplish greater things. And speaking of greater things, shout out to the basketball team this year for bringing home another W. Y'all boys go crazy. So we gain the most from our setbacks. So no matter what ultimatums you are faced with, take them, learn from them, and use that knowledge to never give up on something you believe you are capable of achieving. I'm not going to shower you all with inspirational quotes that you'll forget tomorrow morning, but I do hope to encourage you to persevere towards your goals and know that you can do anything you put your mind to. I hope something I have said tonight inspires you and propels you to overcome any struggles you encounter. Again, I would like to thank my family and my friends, as well as the family and friends of my peers who came from all over to support us. Congratulations, my friends, for making it to this point, and good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you.